what is weighted average cost of capital that's what we are going to understand in this session weighted average cost of capital is nothing but the overall cost of all capital basically the long term capital or the funds that have been deployed in the business and it is calculated by taking weightage which is in proportion to the funds so how this weighted average cost of capital is used it is mainly used in investment decisions that is the returns that is generated out of investment should be greater than the weighted average cost of capital to accept the investment so we'll look at the example for this weighted average cost of capital first i'll list out the value or i would say the sources the first source is equity we are going to get 500 from equity and from reserves 200 from debt it is 300 so totally the funds that have been mobilized is 1000 and these funds will have a cost equity has a cost of 18% debt has a cost of 10% and there is one additional piece of information that is tax is 35% now with this information we have to calculate weighted average cost of capital for that we should know the proportion what is proportion proportion is nothing but the proportion of each and every source of funds to the total fund you look at the equity equity is 500 total funds are 1000 so 500 on 1000 it is 50 percent so 0.5 or 50 percent is the proportion of equity to the total funds take about reserves it is 20 percent of total funds and debt is 30 percent of total funds so if we have calculated proportion then we should take after tax cost so what is the cost for equity it is dividend what is the cost for reserves the dividend which was not declared so the cost of equity is actually the cost of reserves and both the cost or after tax cost because dividend is paid on the profits which is after the tax so after tax cost for equity is same 18 percent for reserves also it is 18 percent but when it comes to debt this debt interest is paid before tax so because of paying interest the company is going to save something on tax because the expenses has come down because of interest so there is a tax saving to the extent of 35 percent on the interest so if interest is 10 percent on which if the tax is 35 percent then the effective interest cost for the company would be 65 percent of interest so this is nothing but 10 multiplied by 65 percent that is 1 minus tax rate so if interest rate is 10 percent and if tax rate is 35 percent the after tax interest rate is 6.5 percent so with this information we can calculate weighted cost of capital which is nothing but after tax cost multiplied by proportion for equity it will be 18 percent multiplied by 50 percent which is 9 percent for reserves it is 18 percent multiplied by 20 percent which is 3.6 percent and for debt it is 6.5 percent multiplied by 30 percent which is 1.95 percent so if you total all the three weighted cost of capital what you will get